and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the pinwheel block. I create videos every single Wednesday helping you with your basic sewing tips and tricks. In order to create our pinwheel block we have to create half square triangles. For a full tutorial on half square triangles, I will put a link in the description down below or you should see something rolling across your screen right now. Another important tip about the pinwheel block is it's going to work best for you if you use two contrasting colours. So like a white and a print or a black and a white. You want that pinwheel to stand out so it has to be two very contrasting colours. So I'm just going to create my half square triangle right here. So I'm just going to sew along these lines right here. And then just cut right along the center like so and just going to press it open and you have one half square triangle so this process creates two half square triangles so I'm going to, have to do one more in order to get four for a block you now have four half square triangles that look like this how do you get the pinwheel design? The pinwheel design is all about positioning. So you're going to get one of your blocks facing like this, another like this, another like this, and then like this. And you see how it's going like a pinwheel. Now we're going to sew our pinwheel in two different steps. So we're going to get these two and we're going to go like this, right sides together, and then with this one here, right sides together. And we're going to sew all the way along here. As with most quilting, it's always a quarter of an inch seam allowance, unless stated. And you're just going to sew all the way down a quarter of an inch. Then just press them seams down and turn around. So I've just lined my second one up. Now you have something that looks like this. We're going to grab these two sections here and flip this right sides together and sew right along here. Another tip here is see how these two seams are both folding onto the same section creating a lot of bulk in the middle here. You want to press one of them onto one side and another onto the other side so it lies much flatter. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew this quarter of an inch seam. And there you have it, one pin wheel block. If you've enjoyed watching this tutorial, don't forget I upload videos every single Wednesday. So if this is something you like, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing me next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.